Well, the real power resides in your head. Real life action hero Mike Gillette shows you how to uncover your true strength, the mind. And here with now with more is Mike himself. How are you, Mike? Hey, great. Great to see you. It's great to have you. Uh, people might be un un unfamiliar with the term mind coach. Mind coach, I think the best way to sort of wrap your head around it is everyone knows what a personal trainer is. Yeah. Personal trainers work with people to improve them, but largely in the physical domain. Yeah. Uh, a mind coach does much the same thing, but we work you know, from the neck up, basically. Mm -hmm. And you're here in town teaching a hypnosis class? Right. I'm teaching at a hypnosis uh, training course. I'm a guest instructor. And I'm mm -hmm. teaching not hypnosis per se, but what people refer to as mental toughness training. Mm -hmm. And we, I know you have a, a couple books out. Uh, Mind Boss being one of them. Tell us about Mind Boss. Well, Mind Boss is really about um, taking the principles of self improvement and mental toughness mm -hmm. and putting it into a, a practical framework. There's a lot of self help information out there, and all, it's all great, it's all very well intentioned. A lot of it's kind of conceptual and fuzzy, mm -hmm. it's really hard to get your hands on it. Yeah. So, people tend to do better, you know, if we're talking about personal trainers, when you have a, a very specific plan to follow. That's what Mind Boss is. It it's, helps it's your a mind very have specific, that right? So, we're talking about Mind Boss or, or the DVD course. It's a, a to B to C sort of route to getting your thoughts better, improving your attitude so that you can be more efficient pursuing your goals. And how do we get our hands on that book? How do we get our hands on, well, Mind Boss is a couple of weeks out yet before it's released. Oh, wow. But what, uh, what I've had uh, come out earlier this year in, in April is actually a workbook and DVD package which is referred to the psychology of strength, mm -hmm. which really is about how to think strong or think tough. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of the for people who don't like to read so much, it's, <laughs> it's more for them or they like to listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's basically walking them through those, those same processes and, and getting them up and running with that kind of material. Gotcha. Yeah, the term mental toughness, we hear that a lot, especially among athletes. And I, you, know, you think you know, athletes are you're pumping up here, you get hit in the, in, the, in, in the chest, you don't really feel it so much because you're built. But if you get mental tough, you get mentally hit, it doesn't hit you as hard. Well, that's absolutely true, yeah. we, and we see this all the time in athletics, where people with you know great talent, great potential, all, all the right genetics and so forth, never quite get to where they seemingly could, and it's usually the result of what I call faulty programming. Yeah. There, there's something going on up here that, that needs to be cleared out yeah. so that they can basically get all that they're capable of getting. Mm -hmm. And you hold a few records as well. What I are do those records? Uh, a, f a few uh, a few world records uh, that uh, involve mental toughness mm -hmm. and also involve uh, pointy things. I have the Guinness World Record for the most arrows broken in succession, tip to throat. That's where you take the steel tip, you place it right there, and you break the arrow. Something I saw done a number of years ago by a group of performing Shaolin monks, and I thought, hey, that's really cool. So no. I did that on the Guinness <laughs> show, uh, Guinness Records Unleashed. And you survived. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> and yeah, everything's still working. And uh -huh. then uh, last year, I set another record involving arrows, which was breaking the most arrows simultaneously with the throat. That record is three. That's not something I'm really eager to recreate. Wow. Yeah, no, soon. nor no. should you. <laughs> I've never shot. I have never tried this. Do you think you could teach us to walk on coals using our mind strength? That absolutely uh, can be done. Lots of people do it. That's something like like Tony Robbins is very mm -hmm. famous for doing that. Yeah. And that's that's really overcoming your worldview, uh, fears, anxieties, those those types of things. It's all about this. You don't do anything with your feet to toughen them uh -huh. over the course of uh, yeah. that it's all type in your of training. Head. Absolutely. Well, you think of pain, like if you injure yourself and you don't see the injury you don't necessarily feel that pain as much as when you look down and see how injured you are. Same with the coals. If you can tune that out in your mind, you're good to go, right? That's absolutely right. A lot of people see some of the things I do and they say, well, gosh, don't you feel pain? <laughs> and I will say, yes, later. You know, I find a way to deal with the pain in the interim sense. Mm -hmm. you know, it's really no different than someone who, say, does triathlons. They're experiencing discomfort, but they're very good at compartmentalizing it and putting it someplace else until the job at hand is completed. And then you can lay down on the bed and, and relax then you, for Yeah, then, yeah. You, then you can yeah. suffer. <laughs> now, you brought in some things with you. What exactly is on the table over here? Well, what, uh, what we have, first of all, uh, for anyone that uh, is interested in what I do and is interested in learning how to do what I do, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. strengthpsychology.com is actually where you go to learn more about the psychology of strength program that's what that is mm -hmm. but I did bring a couple of arrows because people have uh, started to expect this from me <laughs> and uh, their steel tip they're what's called field tip uh, 
arrows. And sometimes people think, well, gosh, are they legit? Do you get those from the novelty store? Mm -hmm. Can you get those from the novelty store? I've never seen them So oh, what I do is uh, on, yeah. to show people that you know, this is for real, and I don't slam it in. I just okay. gently push, and I gently kind of pointing down so I don't make a mess in your studio. <laughs> oh, and, well, that was funny. Yeah, I know it. It. <laughs> okay. That's okay. I think that... Uh, we didn't we shower today. We needed it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've established that but it's both real. the arrows it's not are real, fake. Yes. and that was it, delicious. And that's and delicious, good. Yes. yes. So what I'm going to do is oh. ask the braver of the two of you <laughs> to assist me with this. Doubt. Would that be me? <laughs> well, you're standing close, so I'm going to say yeah. All right. Most it's people don't say All right. Now, the way this works is if I can get you to kind of just like put your okay. foot right up against the bottom of the board. We're going to hold it vertically, and if you can lock your arms straight, because if it moves at all, okay. lock your arms straight, as in lock your uh. arms no, straight. Oh, sorry. There we go. Okay. I'm looking at my because heels because I... Because if this moves, uh -huh. it becomes even more dangerous. Oh, okay. <laughs> and even Mike Gillette has limits. Oh, boy. Okay. Actually, oh, Sean might have to hold me because yeah, I have can heels we step on. Do you want me to do this? Yeah, I can do this. So that everybody, well, actually, if you can hold her. There just we go. Push, yeah, there we push go. on my back. Yeah, there just you go. Kind of give her a massage. Okay, okay that's good. Okay, so what okay. I'm going to do is on the count of three, I'm going to step <gasps> forward. I'm no. Gonna, <sighs> I'm going to break two arrows at once. It's the only time you're ever going to see this because I'm the only person who's ever documentedly oh. broken more than one arrow at a time. Oh, my. Pretty exciting. Set your okay. DVRs, everybody. Okay. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, you ready? Uh, well, <laughs> doesn't it's matter. Really I'm going to say it. Okay, I'm ready. So we're going to go on three. Here we go. Okay. One. Two, three. Oh, what? <laughs> are you what? all right? Yes. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? okay. Oh my Not goodness. Not leaking. I think I'm good. Oh, Do you have like look a steel the, like larynx? The, oh, if only that wait, were the case. Look at the dent you created look at the in dent. the wood. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh well, my goodness. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> wow. Oh that was tremendous. Wow. You, uh, Dow's you like forget. freaked out. Oh, right my now. gosh. I'm, I'm congratulating you. <laughs> that's a, that's you awesome. We didn't have to call the doctor. That's good. That's, that's always a good deal. That's all, And that's attributed to what's in your mind and the power yeah. of overcoming. Yeah. Because if, if you're if thinking you about it. If you want something badly enough, you, you can summon what's necessary to do it. But if you're thinking about that, your mind would say, don't do that. Yeah. But you're well, you that think out. about other things. Yeah. You, th you think about what you want to have happen, not about the barriers that lay between you and that. So what's going in your mind when that's happening? Go. Literally, Go. I think of action words. Yeah. When I do, th when I'm breaking bricks, you know, when I'm bending steel, I think go or now or you know, keep going. Or whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow, that's really incredible. Yeah. Uh, it's great having you. Thank yeah, you so right much. now I'm thinking about my throat. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Master that was your amazing toughness with Mike Gillette's strength <laughs> psychology. My goodness, you can learn more about Mike and his program. Visit the website on your screen. Unreal. Stay with us. We'll be back.